a lot of times we tend to go into the place where we keep saying things like, I hope things get better. I hope I see the people. I hope my dreams come to pass. I hope I see my family member get saved. I hope I see myself go towards my destiny. I hope these things turn out well for me. I hope I overcome that sickness. I hope I come out of this subject. I hope I'm able to clear all my papers. You know, a lot of times we go by I hopes. I hope these things will be well for me. I hope I'm able to come out in life. I hope I can just somehow succeed through life or make it in life. But let me tell you something. I want you to graduate from a place of I hope to a place of I know. When you know that God is on the throne, when you know that he has everything under control, when you know who God really is, that he's a good God, a loving father, encompassing in love and compassion, that he has everything for your good in store for you, you cannot just stay in a place of I hopes. You can graduate to a place of I know. I know my God is still on the throne. I know that he's going to make a way where there seems to be no way. I know that what the enemy means for harm, he's going to turn it around for good. I know I'm going to go through this difficult situation, but I'm going to come out stronger. I'm going to come out better off than I was before. I know that the God who began the good work in me is able to accomplish for what he has called me to do as well. So that's what I'm asking you today. Are you still in a place of uncertainty? Just saying, you know what, I hope, I hope, I hope things will turn out. Or are you graduating to a place of I know and have a place of, you know what, I trust God. I know that he will never let me down. I know that he will never fail. I know that no matter what comes against me, I know that I'm a victor and not a victim. I know that I'm going to excel in everything I do. I know that I'm going to see his blessings and favor come down my way. I know that God is going to do things in ways I cannot even imagine. Many times in a religious setup, we say things like, hey, trust God. Hey, how can you say that you don't trust God? You got to trust God. You got to know that he's going to take care of it. But I'm not going to beat you around. Let me tell you something. This is a profound truth that's going to change you. Trusting God and knowing who God is is not a root. Trusting God is not a root. Have faith, we say, you know, to a lot of people. But the truth is, it is not a root cause. It is actually a fruit. For example, if I just come to you randomly and I just say, hey, you've got to trust me. You've got to know that you know, I'm going to take care of you. Just give me this, give me that, you know. You will be ask me a hundred questions. You will say, John, how can I trust you? I don't even know you. But at the same time, if you know who I am, you spend a lot of time with me, if I just come to you, you're going to trust me. Why? I don't have to tell you a million times, hey, trust me, trust me. No, you can just trust me with simple faith. Why? Because you know me. So today I'm telling you, if you need to see that you want to accelerate or elevate your faith life, I'm not asking you to come out and say, you know what, trust God and have faith, but I'm going to help you to know who God is. Because when you know God, trusting God is the fruit. You don't have to try to reap the fruit. It's going to come automatically when you know God. The same way, if you know me, you can trust me without any problem. Same way, when you know God, you can trust him without any issue. You won't have any hassle even when things don't go your way. You won't have any problems when things don't happen according to your timetable. You don't have any problems when you face that you know, impossible situation. Because when you know who God is, when you know that my God is a time-keeping God, when you know that God is a good God, a loving Father, a God who can do the impossible, a God without limits, a God who is able to say, you know what, I've got the best in store for you. When you know God, there is no problem for you to not to trust Him. Today my challenge is a simple truth. Learn to know God. Just take time to spend at His feet. Just take time to read His Word. Look at His love letter. Look at and say, you know what, God, you're not just yeah, to start a religion, you came to have relationship. I want to develop that relationship. When you spend more time, you will automatically get to know the other person. Same thing, when you spend more time with the Lord, take time to even talk with Him. In the sense, take time to listen to what He is saying. When you do that, when you get to know Him, I don't have to come and tell you to trust Him. I don't have to come and tell you, hey, have faith. Come on, keep hoping on you. It's going to be well. No, you will automatically display the fruit of trust, fruit of faith. Why? Very simple. You know God for yourself. 